MGF Customs slash reviews. What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing another custom LEGO minifigure showcase video. This time I have three brand new characters from the Legend of Korra TV show on Nickelodeon, and well that pretty much sums it up, but uh, anyway, I've got here Mako, Bolin, and Asami. So um, yeah, I definitely think that you guys have enjoyed Korra and Amon. So I took it upon myself to keep going, especially with the Legend of Korra finale. I am just totally motivated to make more Legend of Korra minifigures. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I want you to meet my brother, Mako. Okay, so here is Mako. And Mako features the LEGO minifigure series 6 or 7 tennis player hair, I don't know which. But I took that hair and painted it in black. His face is entirely custom painted. As you can see, the eyes are painted, or you know, I, I basically to make the face, I had to first paint on the eyes, and I had to paint on the white, and then the brown, and then I had to add the extra white dots in his pupils there, just to make him look even more real. And then as you can see, he does have the mouth painted on there, and a slight mark underneath his mouth to really emphasize his expression. His expression is a very basic expression, just, you know, um, you know, a normal, timid kind of face. His arms are exposed. I painted his arms with a flesh color to replicate Lego's flesh color. As you can see, his fingers are also painted. And his legs do feature all the necessary colors that I thought were necessary to add on to Mako's legs. And then there's the back of those there. He does have a black band on his waist there. Not like his actual waist piece, just like right on the bottom of his torso and it continues to the front there. And his scarf is painted in a dark red. And so is this detail, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea what it is, but it goes all the way down to the top half of his leg. And yeah, so his scarf is painted or outlined in a black color. Black color? It really is only one black color. Anyway. There's Mako. Did I mention he was a firebender? Name's Bolin, by the way. So now we have Mako's brother, Bolin the Earthbender. Bolin is a little bit more simple. He doesn't feature as much detail as Mako does, but that's really only because he doesn't have as much detail as Mako does in the actual show. He does feature a painted face, just like Mako, just with a different expression and a different and different colored eyebrows, and basically just a totally different face. And um, that was, again, another intricate face to paint because it's really not easy to have paint, you know, a face on a Lego figure, um, especially because you have to get the emotion and basically all the facial features that are necessary correct. And as you can see, his paint, his paint, what am I saying? His hair <laughs> is um, simple because really that's the closest hair that Lego has made to Bolin. I do have a better hair piece on the way, but I'm not sure when it'll arrive, and I wanted to get this video out for you guys as fast as possible, so this will have to do for now. But when he does get an upgraded hair piece, I'll be sure to let you guys know on my Facebook and Twitter, so you can check that out when I post a picture on Flickr, and then I'll post it on Facebook and Twitter. But anyway, Bolin does feature similar detail on his arms. As you can see, the flesh is exposed to basically act as his arms, and as you can see, it is a very close color to Lego's flesh color and as you can see the neck area that is exposed is outlined in white and a very dark green which is hard to see sorry about that but that's just the color um, he does feature the same detail that Mako does here going down um, doesn't extend all the way to the top half of his leg because his waist detail is in the way there but um yeah so you can see his waistband is wrapped around him and that continues all the way down to the top half of his leg. And the top half of his leg is actually painted in an olive green color, and the rest of his legs are pretty much the same as Mako's with the dark tan and brown. And then there's a look at the back. The back is pretty much blank because really there isn't much to add on the back. But uh, other than that, 
that's pretty much Bolin. So, there you go. My name's Asami. Let me make this up to you somehow. So lastly, we have the best of all, Asami. And why is she the best of all? Because she obviously features just a lot more detail. And she was definitely quite an awesome figure to make. And I think I did a pretty good job on her. Especially her facial expression because that was my first time painting a face that had, you know, um, lipstick and eyeshadow and all that stuff. But I think I did, I did a really good job pulling it off. As you can see, her eye color is a lighter green than Bolin's. And her eyes are a little bit more intricate because not only does she feature the white dot for the pupil, but there is also a black dot in each eye as well. So that was pretty hard to do. And then you can see um, her eyebrows there. Those are painted there, her eyelashes right underneath the eyeshadow. So you can see that. And then her eyebrows are above her eyeshadow there. So, and then her mouth is painted there. You can, you, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there is a black line that's running through it. And then her shoulders represent the Sato Mobile, if I'm not mistaken, or just her father's company in general. Um, her back does not feature anything, because there really there isn't anything to add on her back, just like the other, or many of the core characters. And um, as you can see, her legs, even though they are painted, they are fully posable. And um, yeah, as you can see, her torso has a lot of painting to it. You can see the red area in the middle there, and that is outlined with, it's a dark color, dark red, and is outlined with a lighter red. And as you can see, her collar up here, which is white, gray, and tan, all painted there. And then you can see the yellow markings there. These red marks here are here to represent her curves, to give her that feminine effect. And then, as you can see, she does feature a pouch on the side of her leg there. So, that's about it for Asami. I think she's pretty awesome, and I think I did a pretty good job on her, and she's easily one of my favorite core figures that I've made. Alright guys, so that pretty much sums it up for this trio, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely put a lot of work into these, but I enjoyed every bit of it, because I absolutely love the Legend of Korra TV show, and uh, there are definitely more on the way. So, um, I know I've been lacking with videos, guys, but I've just been busy. My schedule has been a little bit more demanding than usual recently. But um, I do promise you that I will try to pick up the pace. Brick Fair Virginia is right around the corner. So I have a lot of preparing to do. So that also gets in the way. Comic Con just began yesterday. And um, been keeping up with that. And I'm um, working on some more customs. Because I do want to be able to bring as many awesome customs to Brick Fair as I can. But um, anyway, that's about it, guys, and I'll see you guys later. And one more thing, do, be, do check out MGF Extra, because I do post vlogs on there every day or two, and uh, basically, mainly because they're just easier to make than these videos, so I'm able to up you, update you guys more frequently. So uh, do give that a look, and um, that's about it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!